Hi developers, how would you like to simplify development of your complex software and reduce your product's time to market? Qualcomm Technologies is here with a solution that could transform your development experience. Foundries Factory is a cloud-based software development platform which helps you build products that are security rich, simple to update, and easy to maintain. The Foundries Factory consists of a set of collaboration tools that allows you to interact with the cloud system using a GitOps workflow. This simple workflow helps you build, customize, and deploy your Linux, Yocto-based images, and containerized applications. When you're ready, you can deliver updates to devices in the field with ease. If you have experience with Yocto development, then you know it can be hard to customize the board support package, or BSP, and native application recipes. With Foundry's Factory, we get you started with a Yocto distribution, which includes a Yocto meta layer of your own. You can add your customizations in a way that overlay the base platform instead of creating copies of existing recipes. This helps to avoid complications later when updating the platform from one version to the next. It is possible to modify any piece of software in the base platform. However, you will need to maintain it once modified. Let's look at some important characteristics of the Foundry's factory. First, it is built upon a foundational unit called a target. Each target provides the following binaries, which are built during the build process, a software bill of materials, or SBOM, atomic immutable secure incremental OTA updates, and a version list of the sources used to create the target. This provides software reproducibility. The Foundry's factory is designed with security in mind, and software developed in Foundry's factory is delivered over the air via the update framework, or TUF. This framework is built to help in the event of attacks such as rollback, fast forward, endless data, wrong software installation, mix and match, indefinite freeze, and key compromise. With Foundry's Factory, the update cycle has a simple design. It is a process of continuous integration and continuous development of your builds. The build process happens in the cloud once a new change has been pushed via Git. We call this GitOps development. There are two types of builds in Foundry's Factory, platform and container builds. Both are components of a signed tough target. The platform build is an operating system image and distribution. It includes firmware, kernel, modules, user space, system services, and native applications. The container build can be a single application or a combination of containers creating a single service. Also, using Foundry's Factory, you can build your containerized applications across multiple architectures, such as x86, ARM, or ARM64. This offers developers the flexibility to create and debug applications on a host PC and then publish them to the factory for deployment on real hardware. Each piece of software built in Foundry's factory comes with a software bill of materials, or SBOM. This includes the license information for each package and can provide information about potential vulnerabilities in your software. One of the key features of the Foundry's factory solution is its capability for device management and configuration. Devices check in with the Foundry's factory services and ask for the latest target that they should be running. If there's a new target available, the update process will begin. If desired, developers can also customize much of the update process. To integrate with our device management services, we provide outward-facing APIs and a simple command line interface, or CLI, to use those services to operate your devices in the field. At a higher level, customers can group devices together and define configurations. As devices join these groups, they inherit these configurations and can perform an over-the-air update to the target defined in the group. Rolling out OTA updates to a fleet of devices can be a complex task. The Foundry's factory uses a feature called Waves to test the rollout of an update to a small sample of a device group. This allows you to monitor for any issues before pushing the update to the rest of the device group 
or the entire fleet. The Foundry's factory can provide remote access for managing devices. To access the platform remotely, you can set up a WireGuard server. WireGuard is a fast, modern, and open source VPN tunnel that is easy to configure and deploy. Then you can use the configuration system to send a command to the device, instructing it to connect to the server that has been configured. Once you're done, you can change the configuration again and the device will disconnect. This makes it easy to manage a fleet of edge devices. Foundry's Factory is an excellent solution for developing Linux-based images and containerized applications, and it helps you easily manage, maintain, and update software on edge devices. Find out more about Foundry's Factory and get started by creating a factory for your own products.